Welcome to Rod's Tree Tours of the University of Nevada, Reno Arboretum. My name is Rod Hollenbeek, aka The Tree Hunter. I am your host for this tour. This is the Hilliard Plaza Tree Tour. It starts at the north door of the Ansari Business Building, tours Hilliard Plaza, and finishes next to the Leafs and Physics Building. The rectangular courtyard is one of the Arboretum's areas of interest named the Hilliard Fall Foliage Quad. There is a pause of two seconds after each tree to let you get to the next tree, but if you haven't yet reached the tree, or if you need a little extra time to locate or contemplate it, please press pause until you are ready, then press play. Okay, let's get started. The tree nearest the door at number one on the map is Weeping Crabapple, scientific name Malus X. Shidecari Red Jade, planted in 1988. The weeping shape in this case was the effect of open pollination of various crabapple trees in a tree farm. The name is deceiving, the flowers are white, but they are so plentiful that the tree is gorgeous in April. The small toothed leaves are typically two inches by one inch. Bear left to the silver-green, strange-looking tree in the island at number two in the map. This is Weeping Atlas Cedar, scientific name Cedrus atlantica glauca pendula. It is a cultivar of blue atlas cedar, the silver-colored largest tree in the plaza. Weeping Atlas Cedar is prized for its limbs, which head in one direction at a low angle and continue as the tree grows. If you plant one of these, be careful in which direction you plant it. Head toward the grassy area about 50 feet from both the weeping crab apple and the weeping atlas cedar to the tree at number three. This is Tupelo, scientific name Nyssa sylvatica. It has smooth edged leaves about the same size as crab apples, but its flowers are insignificant. Native to the southeastern U.S., this slow-growing tree has brilliant red leaves in fall. Walk to the next tree to the left, at number four, northern red oak, scientific name Quercus rubra, a native of eastern North America. Its leaves with pointed shallow lobes, indicative of the red oak group, help identify it. Northern red oak is an excellent ornamental tree for northern Nevada, because it has red, orange, and yellow fall color, has few problems, and grows rapidly. The tiny oak flowers look like strings drooping down from the branch before the leaves come out. Walk to the last tree in the grassy area at number five, a copper beech, scientific name Fagus sylvatica. This is one of the forms of the European native. It is unusual. Its leaves come out a copper color, turn to dark purple in summer, then turn to copper again in fall. This is possibly the most popular purple-leaved cultivar, Rivers. In a few years, this tree will bear spiny fruits which contain beech nuts, a la chewing gum or chewing tobacco. In fact, the leaf buds in winter are shaped like cigars. For a bigger one, go to the southwest of the library tree tour. At the north end of the grassy area, number six is Weeping Sequoia, scientific name Sequoia dendron giganteum pendulum, which is native to the west slope of the Sierra Nevada, has a vertical central trunk and branches hanging vertically. These trees are commonly used next to buildings. In some cases, such as this particular tree, there are one or more arms. Each armed tree has a different shape. Go to the low, round-headed tree near the southeast corner of the Mac Social Sciences Building on the left side of Hilliard Plaza at number 7. This is Star Magnolia, scientific name Magnolia stellata, planted 1987. Native to Japan, it was introduced in 1862 and has been a hit ever since. This is because it has thick, smooth-edged leaves with abundant, four inch wide flowers in spring with 12 to 18 thin petals. This particular tree has white flowers. Others may have pink flowers. Magnolias can be identified by their lance-shaped 
Fuzzy Buds in Winter. Between the magnolia and the building at number eight is a short tree shrub, that is, a plant that can have either tree or shrub form. This is Cusa dogwood, scientific name Cornus Cusa, planted 1987. This close relative of eastern dogwood has four pointed four inch petals, actually leaf bracts, and one half inch round red fruits in fall. It also has variable but excellent fall color. Walk along the side of the building to the largest tree in the plaza at number nine. This is Blue Atlas Cedar, scientific name Cedrus atlantica glauca, planted about 1970. The species tree for the weeping atlas cedar at number two on the map. It is one of the three true cedars which grow in Reno. All three are represented at UNR. Blue Atlas Cedar is native to the Atlas Mountains of Algeria and Morocco. Its upward pointing white to beige cones can grow anywhere on the tree in winter. This tree can be identified by its pointed branches. And this particular tree is the Nevada State Champion Blue Atlas Cedar. Backtrack to the sidewalk in the middle of the plaza at number 10. The tree nearest the sidewalk is Fruitless White Mulberry, scientific name Morris Alba Fruitless. It has been cultivated for thousands of years because it is a tough, fast-growing shade tree with no messy mulberry fruits. The medium-toothed leaves of this tree are also unusual. On the same tree, there are leaves with no lobes, one lobe or two lobes. This tree is hemmed in by the tree at number 11, Cutleaf Silver Maple, scientific name Acer saccharinum loweri, planted 1989. This cultivar is distinguished from the species by the very deep leaf lobes in the palmate, that is, hand-shaped, leaves. This tree was planted in 1991. Silver Maple, native to eastern North America, was one of the most planted tree species in lawn areas in the U.S. for many years, but it has gone out of favor because it easily drops twigs, its shallow roots are a problem for lawn mowers, and its fall color is usually a dull yellow. The flat-headed tree at number 12, next to the maple, is a Young's Weeping Birch, scientific name Betula pendula youngii. This cultivar of European white birch, a native of Europe, was first introduced in 1873. It has a contorted branch structure, but has typical birch leaves, as well as typical birch yellow fall color. Within this tree's drip line is an excellent place to wait out hot summer days in chairs. Ahead at number 13 is a young crab apple, scientific name Malus sp. This particular tree will grow to about 25 feet tall. Its small size, abundant flowers, and small fruits make crabapple one of the three most widely planted tree species in northern Nevada. Directly across the grassy area at number 14 is thornless honey locust, scientific name Gladitia triacanthus inermis, another popular northern Nevada tree. Native to eastern and midwestern U.S., thornless honey locust has compound leaves. Look at the connection with the branch and you will see that the stem is attached to the branch at one end and has 20 to 30 small leaflets coming out from the stem. Once established, this is a tough tree. Zigzag twigs easily identify this species as do the greenish yellow compound flowers. It has bright yellow color in early fall. Walk on the sidewalk toward the Reynolds Journalism Building to the columnar white bark tree on your right at number 15. This tree has a simple leaf, i.e. the stem is connected to the branch on one end and has a single leaflet. This tree is red maple, scientific name Acer rubrum, native to the eastern and midwestern U.S. Red maple is tough, grows quickly, is cold hardy, and provides reliable fall color. This particular tree has orange color. There are perhaps 100 cultivars of this species with different leaf shapes and fall colors. 
To your right, look at a grove of trees at number 16. These are Patmore ash, scientific name Fraxinus pennsylvanica patmore. This cultivar of the eastern North American native green ash was introduced in 1976 and differs from the species in that it is sterile, i.e. has no messy fruits. It also has compound leaves with five to nine leaflets and reliable yellow bright fall color. Proceed to the north side of the round building, Schulich Lecture Hall, just before the steps up the hill. At number 17 is a tree with hand-shaped leaves. This is Schwedler maple, scientific name Acer platinoides Schwedler, possibly planted in the 1980s. This is a cultivar of Norway maple, native to northern Europe. Norway maple is another locally popular tree because it is reasonably fast growing, reasonably tough, and many of the numerous cultivars have bright yellow fall color. In the eastern U.S., where there is abundant rainfall, it is considered a weed tree because it makes many small seedlings. Schwendler maple leaves come out purple green and stay that way until fall when they turn yellow orange. Please press pause and proceed around Schulich and go down the steps to number 18 on the southwest corner of the Leibson Physics Building and press play. This is a Japanese flowering cherry, scientific name Prunus serrata, planted 1972. Japanese flowering cherry is native to Japan, China, and Korea. Its leaves are finely toothed, and this particular tree has a profusion of white one-inch flowers and blush fall color. This particular tree is the Nevada State Champion. Please press pause and go up the stairs and continue around Schulich to re-enter Hilliard Plaza. On the northwest corner of the chemistry building, at the bottom of the steps, proceed to the tall columnar tree at number 19. Press play. This is columnar English oak, scientific name Quercus wilbur fastigiata, planted 1989. This is a cultivar of English oak, which is native to Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. Looking at the five columnar English oaks next to chemistry shows just how much the shape of a particular cultivar can vary. This concludes the Hilliard Plaza Tree Tour. Thank you for joining me on this tour. If you would like to support the Arboretum, please see the options on the donate link on the UNR Arboretum website.